Hi, this is Andy Brown from The Foundry with another Moto Quick Clip video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the procedural clone tool. So in this scene, I've got a plate and I've got a switch. And I want a row of these switches running along the bottom of the plate. But at this point, I don't know how many I'm going to need. So doing it procedurally is going to be really useful. So with the switch selected, I'm going to come over to Mesh Ops, hit Add Operator. And I'm going to type in Clone. Double click on the Clone Mesh Op to load it in. Now to adjust how many clones there are, you need to expand clone and also tool pipe and select the linear generator. Now by default, you'll have a one meter distance on the Y. Now I want to, I want to clone this switch along the X. So I'm gonna zero out the Y channel. And then I can use the handle to drag that clone across the plate. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either drag to define a distance and then increase the number or you can activate between and then drag the last one and then fill the gap in between the first and the last with the number of clones. Well, when you've done that you've got my row of switches I can go back and change that at any point and I can also animate it. 